I have more than one, I'll let them in. Hello, folks. Julius, virtual. Kayla, virtual. Tom, sort of virtual. I feel like that went on for so long. Um, I think it turned off, like, the, I think it's the period turned on. So that's oh. <gasps> or is it seventh period? It's seventh period. Uh, <laughs> that was a good thought, though. Hmm. Where is Madison? Also, I might rearrange my desk. I feel like I've moved this like 20 times today just to see people. I just have to rearrange some stuff. Hmm. I, I don't know how to, <laughs> this is really getting on my nerves. Air display, airplay display off. Hmm. I don't know, man, I don't know. Here comes Madison. I knew if I waited a minute, she'd show up. Okay, everyone is here. Lovely. Okay. How's everybody? Quiet. Good. There's Julius. Um, okay. I want to go change one quick thing on D2L. Um, where is it? Which one? This one. Edit. I'm, ch I'm changing one quick thing um, and then we'll We'll get started. Well, actually, th three quick things. One quick thing, three times. Edit. Assessment. Apply. Ooh, save. And then the last one. I hope I did this right. No, I didn't do it right. Fudge. Uh, sorry, it's very boring while I'm getting this set up. Okay, um, so I just went into quizzes and for the three punctuation quizzes, um, for all quizzes, you should have two attempts. I decided to make it so that you could have a third attempt on these quotation, quotation punctuation ones. And hopefully those of you who haven't done them yet won't need more than two attempts. But I wanted to like try to clear up a few things about punctuation. Um, because I was looking at the ones that have already been done and noticing some regular mistakes that people are making. Um, first of all, I think I mentioned one day in class that um, when you when you have a a quote like at the end of a sentence your period is always going to go inside the quotation marks. The exception to this, well, your period or question mark or whatever, however your sentence ends, 
The exception to this is if you have a sentence that's quoted. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thanks for letting me know in the private chat. I'll go fix that too. Um, I guess I just haven't unlocked it. Um, the exception to this is if you have a quotation at the end of a sentence and then you're citing it. So like if you have a quote, you'll, you'll say the quote, you'll end it with no punctuation yet, and then your quotation marks, and then you have your parentheses with the citation in it, and your period would go after the parentheses. Does that make sense? I might, uh, should I type it in the chat for, for you guys, or is it making sense? Okay, I take it that means it's making sense. Um, another thing is that there are a few questions where, I don't remember if it's in the paragraph one or the other one, um, but it's asking you to notice any mistakes or think about what changes need to be made to book titles. And I feel like it's almost a trick question because book titles are not in parentheses. I feel like they're trying to trip you up a little bit there, but if you have a book title, it should be parentheses, quotation marks, sorry. Um, your book title should be italicized or underlined, but not in quotation marks. So I think that they, you know, they're trying to trip you up a little bit there on the quiz. Um, Another one is, and I might actually give you an example from the quiz here, which would be kind of giving you an answer, but um, just one. Sometimes in those things where it's asking you to identify like how the quotation marks need to be changed or like what's the error with the quotation marks. Sometimes they've just put quotation marks around a random word uh, and it doesn't need it, in which case your answer would be just to take them away. Um, and I noticed that particularly, there was one that said something about like Native American spirituality. And that's just got quotation marks around the word spirituality for no reason. You don't need quotation marks. Um, it's like in a list of things. And I think it's talking about like Christian faith, something else, or Native American spirituality. And so it doesn't need quotation marks. It almost sounds like you're making fun of it if you put quotation marks around it. Um, so those are some things that I noticed on the quotation marks quiz um, that could easily trip you guys up. So, and I, I like didn't go through the punctuation stuff with you when I gave it to you. Um, I did go through the parallelism yesterday and I, I guess I will go through the grammar when I give it to you from now on, on Wednesdays. Um, but because I hadn't gone over it, um, you know, as I was looking at the results of the people who've already done it, they weren't very good. Like the scores so far were not very good. And so I was looking to see, uh, looking at things that commonly tripped you up to see if there was stuff that just might be like misconceptions or stuff that might be useful for everybody to hear. So I've given uh, for all three of the punctuation quizzes, punctuation mechanics, punctuation mechanics, the second one and quotation marks, um, I've made it so that you can have three attempts at those quizzes. So if you've already done two and not done well, you have another chance. And that being said, it's Thursday, it's time to work on quizzes. So obviously you can, um, you can leave the call and you can work on these quizzes on your own, but if you would like to stay on the call and work on some quizzes and ask me stuff along the way, that might be helpful. Um, but you have the three punctuation ones, which are due, I'm looking. They're not due until next Friday, so we'll also have next Thursday to work on them. Um, but I'm also unlocking 
a bunch of other quizzes next Thursday. So if you want to go ahead and get these over with, you can. Um, but I am here to answer any questions. And also, someone mentioned in the chat that there didn't seem to be a discussion for Company of Wolves. So let me take a quick look at that. Hmm. Trying to figure out why this wouldn't be showing up. Ah, that's why. Today is the 8th. And this is due the 16th. Unlock topic. Save. Yes, the discussion for Company of Wolves is due tomorrow. And we'll have class time tomorrow to work on it. Um, but if you want to go ahead, you certainly can. Get ahead. Why not? Um, OK, so if you want to leave and work on stuff, you can. Um, I'm going to just stop my video, but um, feel free to ask me questions if you're working on stuff. Mm -hmm.